Hi friend, welcome to the abstract algebra class. It is class 76. In this class, we will define cyclic group. Here is the definition of cyclic group. Let G be a group. And suppose there is an element A belongs to G such that G is equal to A to the power N such that N belongs to Z. Then the group G is called a cyclic group. Every group which we can write as A to the power N uh, in belongs to Z, this kind of group called cyclic group. Here A is called the generator generator of G. Every group which we can write as A to the power N in belongs to Z. Then G is called the cyclic group. A is called the generator of A. Actually G is called the cyclic group generated by element A. Here A is called generator of the group G and it is denoted by G is equal to cyclic group G which is generated by A write us like this and in this by this sample we can uh, show the cyclic group generated by A it is equal to A to the power N N belongs to Z it is the definition of cyclic group problem let G is equal to 1 minus 1 is a group uh, with respect to multiplication we know that this group is this set is group under multiplication now we want to solve that we want to uh, show that g is a cyclic group here one minus one is uh, one minus one belongs to g and also we can write one this element of g is equal to minus one whole to the power two minus one is equal to minus one whole to the power one then we in the group G can written as minus one whole to the power two instead of one minus one whole to the power one instead of minus one. Actually, here we see that this this uh, set has the form of a to the power n n belongs to z. Therefore, minus one whole to the power two minus one whole to the power one. It is the cyclic group generated by minus one actually this group this uh, seat is a cyclic group generated by minus one therefore g is a cyclic group generated generated by minus one here minus one is generator another example here let g is equal to one minus one i minus i is a group with respect to multiplication we now show that this group is a uh, cyclic group g Solution here I is equal to I belongs to G. I belongs to G and I square I to the power one is equal to I I to the power 2 is equal to minus 1 i to the power 3 is equal to i square into i i square is minus 1 minus 1 into minus i i to the power 4 is equal to 1 therefore g is equal to 1 minus 1 i minus i it is equal to instead of 1 we can write i to the power 4 and instead minus 1 we can i to the power 2 and instead i we can write itself and instead minus i we can write i to the power 3 actually this set uh, has the form of a to the power n n belongs to z which is generated by it is a cyclic group. It means it is a cyclic group generated by element I. Therefore, G is a cyclic group generated by I. <coughs> Example 3. 
for a problem. Example 3, let G is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 be a, a group with uh, respect to multiplication modulo 7. Multiplication modulo 7. We now show that uh, this, this it is a uh, cyclic group. Here, 3 to the power 1 is equal to 3. 3 belongs to G. 3 to the power 2 is equal to 3 into 3 is equal to 3 into 3, 9. 9 divided by 7, the remainder will be 2. 3 to the power 3 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3, it is equal to 29. 29 divided by 7, the remainder will be 6. <coughs> 3 to the power Three to the power four is equal to three to the power three multiplication modulo seven to three is equal to it is six modulo seven is this equal to multiplication modulo seven into three three is equal to uh, eight, six into three eighteen eighteen divided by seven. The reminder will be 4. Three into five it is equal to to the power four. Multiplication modulo is seven. Three is equal to it is four into uh, multiplication modulo is seven. Three it is equal to four into three twelve. Twelve divided by seven five. Reminder will be 5. 3 to the power 6 is equal, it is equal to 3 to the power 5 and multiplication modulo is 7 into 3 is equal to <coughs> it is 5. 5 multiplication modulo is 7, 3 is equal to uh, 1. Three to the power 7, it is equal to 3 to the power 6, multiplication modulo is 7, 3 is equal to uh, 1, multiplication 3 is equal to 7, 3. Therefore, G is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it is equal to, in this one we can write, 3 to the power 6. In instead 2, we can write 3 to the power 2. In instead 3, we can write 3. In instead 4, we can write here 3 to the power 4. In instead 5, we can write 5. 3 to the power 5. In instead uh, 6, we can write 3 to the power 3. Actually, it is a cyclic group generated by element by element three. Uh, therefore, G is a cyclic group. Cyclic group generated by the element. By the element three. Result: Let G be a group under addition. Suppose there is an, an element A belongs to G such that G is equal to n into A. N belongs to Z. Then G is called cyclic group generated by the element A. The element A. In the previous uh, definition, we uh, assume that the uh, uh, binary operation is multiplication. But here, we say that binary operation is addition. Uh, G is called, in, in this, in this uh, form, we say that 
G is called cyclic group generated by the element A. That is G is equal to N, N to A, N belongs to Z, it is equal to the cyclic group, the cyclic group which, which is generated by A. It is the definition of cyclic group under addition. Example, 2 Z is equal to 0, plus minus 2, comma plus minus 4, and so on. Here, 2 Z under addition is a group, and we know that 2 Z, this, this city is a group under addition. And 2 belongs to Z. 2 is an integer such that 2 Z is equal to 2 n to n, n belongs to Z. It is equal to 2. It is equal to the cyclic group which is generated by 2. Therefore, 2 Z uh, under addition is a cyclic group generated by uh, element 2. Yeah. This theory means belongs to a cycle, a cyclic group. Here we want to prove that if P is a prime number, then every group of order P is a cyclic group. Or we can say every group of prime order is cyclic group. Proof it is easy theory. Here let P be a prime number and G be a group of order P. Therefore, the order of G is equal to P. We know that here we say P be a prime number and G be a group of order P. It means order of G is equal to P. And P is prime number. This implies prime number is greater than or uh, equal to 2. From 2, 3, uh, 5, 7, uh, 11, they are prime number. So, order of G is equal to uh, greater than uh, or equal to 2. We have to prove that G is a cyclic group because the order of G is uh, P. P is prime number. Now, we want to prove that the order of G, G is a cyclic group. Since order of G is greater than or equal to 2, this implies G has at least two distinct elements. Order of G is greater than or equal to 2. Then we can say that G has at least two elements. Uh, this implies one of the elements is different from the identity element E. Every group, we know that every group has an uh, identity element. So here we say that G has two elements, uh, uh, at least has two different elements. Therefore, G can, one of the element of G is different from the identity element A. Then we say that uh, the, that element is A. Is A a cyclic group of G? Suppose order of cyclic group A, which is generated by A is equal to H. Order of this coin, this cyclic group we say we assume that it is equal to h by lagrange theory order of cyclic group divided the order of the group this implies h order of uh, cyclic group a is h cyclic group which generated by a is h divided p divide p h divides p since P is prime number uh, and H divide P, this implies either H is equal to 1 or H is equal to P. P is prime number. Every prime number has two divisors, 1 or H. Therefore, H divide P, P is prime number. Then H is equal to 1 or H is equal to P. Since A is not equal to identity limit E, this implies uh, the cyclic group which generated by A is not equal to E. This implies H is uh, order of A is H. H is not equal to order of E is 1. This implies H is equal to P. This implies order of cyclic group generated by A is equal to order of cyclic group order of group G. This implies this cyclic group is equal to G. Therefore, G is cyclic group. It is cyclic group. It is equal to G. This implies G is cyclic group generated by A. Therefore, every group of prime number, prime order is a cyclic group, which is the statement of our theorem. Thank you.